Hi there, we're going to take a look at quantizing MIDI in Logic Pro X in this video. Logic Pro X has some quite advanced and powerful features for applying quantize to MIDI notes and MIDI region. So we're going to take a look at some of those features. I've got a little bass synth here, a retro synth loaded up. I'm going to record in some notes now, a little bass sequence. Okay, so a very simple bass sequence and we could probably hear as I recorded it, some of these notes are out of time. We listen back. So we can use quantize to sort this out very quickly. If we wanted to very quickly quantize this MIDI region, these MIDI notes here, Command and A to highlight them all. And um, I think by default, we have the 16th note quantize and then it just snaps all those notes to the nearest 16th note. So you've got the bar is split into 16 and it's any wherever the note fell nearest to out of all those those 16th notes, it quantizes it to the nearest 16th note. And we can change our note setting here for the quantize to 32nd or 64th. Or you know, eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes, or on the bar, or snap to the bar. Sixteenth uh, notes is the most useful I find. And and then underneath the kind of traditional quantize settings, we have some triplet, so we could quantize it to triplets. And this is the way that you know a bar is split into in half here by half notes or quarters by eighth sixteenths. The triplet settings, the bar is split into three, or is split into six, or split into 12, or 24, and then you get that triplet feel. Uh, and then we have some various other settings. We have some swing settings, and some eighth, 16th note swing settings, and eighth note swing settings. So we can actually apply we have a human feel to this already because I've unquantized them again now. So the notes are loose, they're out of time. Uh, but however, if they were all quantized to 16th notes like this and we wanted to make them sound more human, we can actually go to one of these swing settings here, swing A, swing B. And you notice as you go down, they get more, the notes get more swung. Um, the notes that it's swinging, uh, the notes that fall, you notice this note here, it falls on the beat and it stays on the beat. Whereas this note here falls in between the offbeat and the beat and therefore gets swung. If this note was in the offbeat, it wouldn't get swung. See, it's the notes in between, it's the 16th in between the beat and the offbeat. They're the ones that get swung with these with these swing settings and starting at A and working your way down. A, you'll notice the swing less and then F is a stronger amount of swing uh, and then anything in between. And we also have some other quantized setting now, down here, tuplets and triplet here. So that's all very useful for quantizing your recording. But what we also have is the strength here. So say we've we've got this recording and some of these notes are loose, but we want to keep that human feel. We want to keep the, 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 the vibe of the way we played it in. Uh, so we don't want it quantized to the grid, uh, but we don't necessarily want to use one of these swing settings. What we can do is set our 16th note quantize here is change the strength. So say with this loose note here and I highlight all of these and I quantize it to the 16th note. What I can do by changing the strength to at the moment it's a 100%. If I change it to 50, what it will do is it will quantize this note that we're looking here, looking at here. It will quantize it halfway from the out of time way I played it to actually being on the 16th note. So 
if the strength is at zero. That's how I played it initially. And then we can set this how strong the notes get quantized here. So you can set it to about 50% or 35% or something. And then you're retaining that, that vibe of the way you played it in, but you are getting the notes closer to a quantization value, which is very useful. If you're a machine user, you'll be familiar with the 50% quantize they have uh, on machine. Uh, it's a similar thing, but we actually can set, you know, strength being 100% fully quantized to to anything anything in between. So that's quite a powerful and useful feature. And say if we were quantized the 16th notes here, strength 100. very quickly just apply a swing in here using the swing control and you notice some of those notes start to get swung okay so that's time quantize in the next video we're going to take a look at this scale quantize down here any questions you've got about anything we've covered here give us a shout and thanks for watching cheers